Now, last week we left Jesus, newly born, in the stable in Bethlehem with his mother, Mary, and Joseph, and the shepherds that had come from the fields just outside Bethlehem, where they'd been looking after their sheep, and they'd come to worship Jesus. And we don't know, they might have even brought a sheep with them. Now, when Jesus was about eight days old, well, he was actually eight days old, and the, the visitors had all gone away, Mary and Joseph took Jesus to the temple in Jerusalem to be presented to God. All right, Mary, have you got the baby ready? Yes, Joseph, I've got the baby. Have you got the donkey ready? Yes, Mary, I've got the donkey. And they all set off for Jerusalem. When they arrived at the temple in Jerusalem, they presented Jesus to the priest. And it's a bit like when you present a newborn baby at church and they're baptised or christened. And they said, his name is Jesus, which was the name that the angel had told Mary to give him. And after that, they went back to Bethlehem. So a bit later, when Jesus was 40 days old, still a very small baby, some unusual things happened in Jerusalem. There was an elderly man who lived in Jerusalem called Simeon. Now Simeon loved and trusted God, and Simeon was very old. And he knew it was coming to the time in his life when he would die, but he wasn't sad about that. He was ready to go and be with God. He spent a lot of time praying to God. I'm Simeon. I am ready to leave this world and go and join God. But the thing is, and this is the thing, God has told me by his Holy Spirit that I will not die before I have seen the Messiah, the Saviour of the world. So it can't be time for me to die yet. But do you know, I've just got the feeling that God is telling me to go to the temple today. So off he went. Now also living in Jerusalem, there was a lady called Anna. Now Anna was very old too, and she was a widow. That means that her husband had died and she'd been a widow for a very long time. And she also loved God and spent a lot of time praying. I'm Anna. I'm 84 years old and I just love being at the temple where I can pray and worship God all day long. In fact, I'm going there now. When Jesus was 40 days old, Jesus, Mary and Joseph set off for the temple in Jerusalem again. Now this time, Mary and Joseph had to take some birds with them. Now it would have been probably two pigeons or two doves, but I haven't got any pigeons or doves, so I'm going to improvise with chickens today. And they also had to take with them some money for the temple. And they set off again. Don't forget the birds. When they arrived at the temple, Simeon came up to them. He took Jesus in his arms. 
and he praised God. Praise God, praise God. This child is the one, the one I've been waiting all my life for. This child is the Messiah, said Simeon. He is the light of the world. Do you know he has come to save not just the Jewish people, but all people on earth? Then Anna came up to them. Yes, this child is the one that we've all been waiting for. He is the Messiah, the saviour of all who love God. He is the light of the world. Oops. And after this happened, Mary and Joseph took Jesus back to Bethlehem. Some time later, three wise men from distant lands in the east were travelling in search of Jesus. Now these men were not Jewish, but they knew that a king had been born in Israel and they wanted to bring him gifts. We need some gifts fit for a king. Well, I've got some gold. Well, I've got some frankincense and I've got some myrrh. Oh, well, we're all set. Let's get going. When they arrived in the land of Israel, they went to see King Herod in Jerusalem. Now, King Herod wasn't really in charge. Caesar was, but Caesar let King Herod be a little bit in charge. Well, the three wise men arrived. King Herod, your majesty, we have heard that a new king has been born in Israel and we've come to worship him. Well, King Herod was very angry indeed. A new king? I'm the king! And he called for the priest. Call the priest! Call the priest! Here I am. I'm coming. I'm coming. What's all this about a new king? What new king? Where? Where does it say that the Messiah will be born? Well, in the Holy Scriptures, it says that he will be born in Bethlehem. Hmm, Bethlehem, eh? Then King Herod came up with a terrible and wicked plan. He called the wise men back. Call the wise men! Call the wise men! Oh, King Herod, we're here. You called? Yes, you will find the baby in Bethlehem. Go and find him. Worship him if you will. But then come back and tell me where you found him. I would like to go and worship him too. But you see, bad King Herod didn't want to worship Jesus at all. He was jealous of a new king being born and he really wanted to kill Jesus. The three wise men set off for Bethlehem. When they arrived, they worshipped Jesus, the newborn king, and they gave him their gifts of gold, frankincense and myrrh. Later, God warned them in a dream not to go back to King Herod, so they went home with their camels another way. And later still, Joseph had a dream. He dreamt that the angel spoke to him. Don't go back to Nazareth, Joseph. King Herod is looking for you and he's dangerous. So Mary and Joseph and the baby Jesus went to Egypt and they stayed there until Herod died and then they returned home to live in Nazareth where Jesus grew up. But we'll talk more about that another time. So the important things to remember from this week's Bible story are this. Jesus was the promised king, the promised Messiah, the one who had come into the world to bring peace between God and those who choose to follow him. And that includes Jewish people and people who aren't Jewish, like the wise men and like us, just as Simeon said. 
And now we're going to do our craft to remind us that Jesus is the light of the world and to help us tell other people. <laughs> 